Hi guys, my name is Srini Atamana. I'm in 6th grade and I'm in Rojavas Middle School. First of all, my goal for 2020 is 1,000 subscribers. So it would be a great hope if you subscribed and shared your video with your friends. So please, please subscribe. Anyways, today's topic is um, how the universe began. So I was ready. Story of space. So I'll be explaining the story. So this may be useful for sixth graders and younger grades if who wants to learn. So story of space. So before the you know the sky dark. When you know that when you if you're an astronaut you go to space and everything's black, right? Like that. Before the story, there used everything used to be white. There's gas, nitrogen, and everything. No black. There was just this tiny dot in the middle. Okay. Now then. Uh, 13.5 billion years ago, the this thing exploded, and then it formed everything black. So this all, every, all the space became, everything in the whole universe became black. Like what happened? Like if you go to space, you see everything's black, right? That's what exactly what happened. This explosion is called the Big Bang. So let me write that down. The Big Bang. So the big bang is this explosion. So that's explosion. So millions of years after explosion, the first galaxy started forming. So the galaxies are this big cluster of stars, and an our and our Earth and Sun is in a galaxy called the Milky Way. So so I'll just write the Milky Way here. And there are one plus trillion galaxies one trillion galaxies in the one one plus trillion galaxies in the universe there are more than 100 plus trillion stars trillion stars in the universe and there are more than one non-million planets in the whole universe so the like including earth like planets and different kind of planets so a lot of systems including earth so now after these galaxies were formed the first stars started forming so a star is formed when a nebula is formed the nebula with all the gases to form the star the it starts to become hot which forms the core of the star then all the gases combine to form the birth of a star. But most of the stars are dying every second. So 3,000 stars are dying every second. So now let's see, say, let's think about how these stars die. So there are small stars, medium stars, and large stars. Okay, pretty these are the stars. Let's let's think about how they explode. So first of all, the small stars become a white dwarf. So when they that that's a dead star. So a white dwarf is called a dead star. So we just the all of its gases get exhausted and then it forms nothing but a white star, which is called a white dwarf, like the sun. Like the sun will turn into a white dwarf in a few billion years. So medium stars explode into gigantic supernovas and they form nutrient stars. And they explode into giant supernovas and form nothing. So this giant explode explode into giant supernovas. And and their light can be so bright that it can be seen from millions of light years away. Now, let's um, talk about big stars. Big stars can either form a neutron, explode into supernova, and become a neutron star, which is, has, which is powered by neutrons, or it can either become a black hole, which we talked about later. If you don't know what black holes are, check my other video, well, which, which is black holes. Now, let's talk about... Um, the plant how the planets were formed so such as the when the sun was formed or let's talk about how earth was formed there's a lot of asteroids back then from all the the ore cloud and everything the, they all collided to form a planet and then the, all the asteroids started hating earth to form the oceans and it started forming the land by the way earth is in the goldilocks zone the goldilocks zone is where it's not nor too hot nor too cold, like the Goldilocks story. It's just right. It's not too cold or too hot. It's just right. So that's what the Goldilocks zone means. 
Earth is Earth is the third planet from the sun and it's in the habitable zone. So that so that's why we are here. That's why life exists on Earth. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, smash that like button and view. See you all next time. Goodbye.